Hello and welcome to Organic Chemistry and this is presented to you by Science Visualized. Today we are looking at the difference between isomers and isotopes in organic chemistry. What are isomers? Isomers are compounds that contain the same molecular formula but different structures. There are two types of isomers. The first one is called constitutional isomers. This is where the two molecules have the same molecular formula but different structures and the difference is due to connectivity, how the atoms are connected. So for example, here you have carbon number one, two, three, and four connected in a linear fashion. And then in this next structure, you have one, two, three, and four connected in a nonlinear fashion. And they all have the same molecular formula. So they have four carbons, so C4, H10. The next type of isomer is called functional group isomers, where they have the same molecular formula, but different functional groups. So for example, if you look at these two structures, the first one is an ether, the second one is an alcohol, and their molecular formula is C2H6O. They have one oxygen. In the first structure, you have an ether, that's because you have an alkyl group, an oxygen, and another alkyl group on this other side, while in the second structure, you have an alkyl group and an OH, that makes it an alcohol. Isotopes. These are atoms of the same element, but with varying mass numbers. That means they have different number of neutrons. So for example, hydrogen with a mass of one has an atomic number of one. So the atomic number there is one and the mass number is one. That means it has one proton and zero neutron. So when you take proton plus neutral, you get a mass number. So mass number equals to proton plus neutron. So in this case, it's one plus zero, which gives you one. And a common compound with hydrogen is water, where the mass of this hydrogen is 1, and the formula is H2O. The next isotope of hydrogen is deuterium, abbreviated as D, and that's basically hydrogen with a mass of 2 and an atomic number of 1. So that means it has 1 proton and 1 neutron, giving a mass of 2. An example of that is deuterated water, D2O, or you can also write it as 2H2O, where this 2 is the mass of hydrogen. And this is used in NMR spectroscopy. The last isotope of hydrogen is tritium, and now you have a mass of 3, and you have an atomic number of 1, so that means you have 2 neutrons. And an example of that will be heavy water, because the mass of hydrogen is 3, and this is used in nuclear power plants. Thank you very much.